This, this uh, webinar today is all about legal project management. I don't look at it as the boring stuff. I think of it as really interesting and it's, it's quite phenomenal when you see with many of the lawyers that I've been working with, and I've worked with thousands of lawyers over the last decade, once we actually figure out exactly which tool or which technique can really make a change for their type of matter or for their particular work context, then the overwhelm is reduced and their stress tends to fall away and they can really focus on their work so they can become much more productive. Often within your firm, there will be people with professional expertise that can help you do your work, but they're not lawyers. They've spent their time becoming highly skilled in different areas. And what we can do is we can adapt and adopt their learnings and their frameworks and their disciplines to help you deliver better legal outcomes for your clients. Leading your teams. So project work gets done through people and the better we can actually lead our teams, the better outcomes we will get. Um, I hopefully it doesn't happen that much anymore, but when I first started working with lawyers, there were so many examples where the partner or the senior associate would not share the letter of engagement or the matter plan with the team working on the matter. There were so many instances where there would be no basic briefing for the team. So they actually were not you know, brought up to speed with the matter. So this is important. It's about thinking about the people who are going to be doing the work and leading them, inspiring them, directing and managing them. Write-offs. So I'm working, with a, I'm working with the largest law firm on the planet at the moment and their CEO was talking to me about the problem they have writing off a lot of money. So legal project management absolutely helps to reduce write-offs because we have clarity at the beginning of the matter and then we have a framework where we can discuss variations and get approval for additional cost, additional time, additional scope. Now, there's some lawyer outcomes. This surprised me a little bit because I hadn't really worked with a lot of lawyers in the beginning. I've worked with a lot more and I can absolutely say that lawyers who use legal project management principles and adjust the way they think about and the way they do their work will have increased work satisfaction and reduce stress. Now, in the field of traditional project management, we actually have 10 key knowledge areas that we will focus on.